Now, next thing I wanted to show you is something called max value and min value. Okay, so let me put in the file here and say ex4 dot pi. So max and min. Um, many times you know want to see who who is the highest score scorer in this class, which student got the highest marks, right? How do we do that? So let's create a list, and I'm not gonna deep. I'm not going to dive deeper into this part. I'll just show you that to create a list. Suppose you say marks, marks equal to, and then you create this parenthesis in the. Uh, I don't know what what do you call this? The the square parenthesis, square brackets, right? So in this parenthesis, I'll give numbers. I'll say 10, uh, 14, 31, 32, uh, 6, 73, and 9. I give some values. This is how you define a list. Okay. And we'll talk more about it, different type of operations on the list. How do I remove a number? How do I add an entry in the list? And all that part. But for now, I created a list. From this list, if I want to find the maximum value, what is the highest value? Then all you have to do is to say, I'll say print, and I'll say max m equal to I'll say max and pass the marks the list variable. The list variable um, max takes a list variable here. So I'll say max and then it will give me m. I can simply say print m. If you run now, you will see it will say seventy three naturally, right? I could uh, I could have given directly here. It's just a variation. I could have taken all of these things here and put it here itself, and I can still run it. Doesn't matter as long as you pass a list or a variable of type list, which I did earlier, marks, or you pass the list directly. Both are fine. The max function takes a list. When you run it again, it's the same value of seventy three. Okay, just to show you, I wanted to. Now, how do you get the minimum value? So let's take a minimum value and say n. N is going to be my minimum. I say min and then max, no greater. And then I want to print m and n both this time. Run. So it's a 73 is the highest and 6 is the minimum. And then, as you notice, all of these math functions or these you know you know number functions are geared towards data manipulation. When you write code and you want to find, hey, who is the, you know, you are, you, are, you are supposed to generate a report that says, print me a report of highest scorer and lowest scorer. This is how you get it. You will also see functions that says you pick the three. So it will pick the top three. It will pick the bottom three. It will pick bottom three. So Python provides a lot of functions that saves your time. You don't have to write code for that. And that is the power of functions. Somebody wrote the code. The max is a, is a Python program already written by somebody. You are simply using it right now by calling the function as max and passing the parameters. And it is giving you the output. Remember the service I was telling you? Think that, you know, uh, Varun is the expert in finding the max. So we call Varun and say, hey, Varun, I'm giving you a list. Can you return me? Varun says, sure, my name of the function. I provide many functions. One of the functions is max. You pass me the list, I'll give you the result. And M is the result. Right? So this is how you find max and min.